Hi. How are you doing? Well, uh, this is a small uh, device that I just finished. It's a solid, solid state uh, device that charges itself uh, with a program that works on timing and relays. Uh, true, we have two, three different charges, meaning that the volts and the watts of each charge floating in the system is different. That's what allows us to make it uh, self-charging. Uh, the power in this generator is big, but uh, we will show later, but we use only a small output of about four to six watts uh, because it can run for, more, for months and years or, or even. So it's not consuming nothing. And uh, you can see this is the uh, LTO bank. It's going up slowly, slowly. We have a, a six volt battery and, and another battery, 12 volts. Now, the system is working on itself and will charge itself all the time. As you see, you see it's going a little bit even up. Now, the system works on six volt. On six volt, the output is 12 and 220 volts, you understand? Uh, so you can see how the numbers do. Uh, now, uh, don't forget on, as well that I have to be very careful because the load, because I have DC converter out that are working at the same time, you understand? Uh, so this is a step down, this is a DC converter, this is a relay, they took around 2 ampere almost, so it's really, really more or less okay. You can see still the number and we are happy with that. Uh, we will demonstrate the, what the generator really can power, a bigger load, but not for a very long term. So in order, in order to power the, the board for, uh, free, for free and for good, and we found that the generator will be able to do so with a small, very small load as you see here, okay? So it works for a very, very long time and stable. And it really works because of the charge that is a little bit, one is strong and one is less strong. One, so one is weak, one is strong. And the relay works around about 30 minutes, uh, each one on, off, that what give the power as well to, to the battery to, to recover itself, you understand? Because after the DC will stop to work and, and the, in the 30 minutes that is off, the relay is off, the timer is off, the battery will come back to itself what it lost, what it lost, it lose from its, uh, if it from its current. And then 30 minutes later, the other one will shut off, will turn off and this one will turn on. So we have three systems like that. One down and two up, you understand? Uh, to show you what the generator is capable to give, but not a, on a big load, so I think not for long term, I will try to show you. This is a, this is a generator that has an alternator and a generator of 220 volts. Uh, it's just to make electricity, that's we call it a generator, because it's just creating power. It's working on, on an inverter and it can charge a battery as well. Uh, let's see. We can put a very old battery here just to see the charge at the same time. But we, we are going to take the power from the generator that we have there, the solid state. So we are going to try to connect an inverter, uh, the electric motor, to the inverter here uh, from, the gen from the solid state uh, uh, device that we have and we see if we can run the generator on it as well. So we have one here, one here, plus minus, okay. Now, we will try to open it here. Let me see if it works. Okay. And we try to connect now the generator to the inverter. 
if we can. So we have 220 volt from this generator. Okay. So I hope you understand. We can charge it with a battery in the same time. So generator is strong. The, the, the device is very, very strong. But in order to keep it for a long, long time, for many months, and it work on itself, we cannot use a big load for now. I hope you understand and you enjoy the video. Bye. Thank you.